Good to see you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Then you know what a beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Blood and silver, friend. Just turn around and leave the city. That's the... What? Why? Are you... interested? Calcimo, is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. You won't have to fight him here. They live here too, my As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. Kalselmo? What about him? Bangugo? <laughs> He's an odd little man, always poking around the ruins and wasting time in his museum. Seems friendly enough, obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? What? You're out of your mind. That old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk such rot. Please, stop yes, wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Igman's father was killed by Force One. Pardon me? I'm not sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. Clearly, I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. What you mean. Could this I is more than I could have hoped for. I, uh, have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Until next time, then. so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. 